It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Delirium Nocturnum. Of course, it's from the Brasserie Brewery Hugh, family brewers since 1654. That's unbelievable, isn't it? What I like about these bottles is that I like the, the, the painted artwork on these bottles. I think they're absolutely fantastic. That speckled, it's almost like they've been individually spray painted. It's just fantastic. Silver neck, very well presented. I've had this beer probably about three years, believe it or not, just sitting there in the back of my cupboard. And I thought, you know what, I've had it, I've had it enough now. Let's, let's get it out. Let's, it's had three years to age at 8.5% ABV. It should be brilliant. So. Should we crack it? Cheers. Ooh, look at that. Little bit of a spiller there, but you don't really mind from Belgian beer, do you really? I mean, it doesn't really matter too much because you kind of know it's a highly carbonated product. So, I was lucky enough last August to meet the, the family member because they, they hand the breweries down generation after generation after generation to, to their next in line family member. And I met the family member in, who was in charge at the moment and he was a lovely guy, a really, really funny guy. Um, we drank and we had fun and we did a beer review. Um, Put in Brewery Hugh on YouTube, I'm sure you'll find it on my channel. Um, but this beer, I don't know whether this, because I've aged it for so long, it looks almost like milkshake, <laughs> or it looks like some kind of coffee, albeit a cold carbonated coffee. Uh, so really kind of thick looking beer, not clear whatsoever. Two finger tan coloured head. Let's get the aroma. Wow. Yes, and that benefit you can you can smell the benefit of aging. And it's one of the most difficult smells to describe to you guys on YouTube, but it's just, oh, it just, it's just, it just kind of makes you want to slump in a chair and, and chill out with a beer. But I can't do that, we got a beer review to do. Should we tuck into this one? Cheers. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what an awesome beer. Raisin, plum, fig. A dry lemon, dry, like dry, do you know you get them dried fruits? You can buy them, the Something like dry, dried apricots in a bag. You can buy, buy them individually. I know because I buy them and chuck them in my kid's lunch bag for school. Them, them dried apricots. You know, they, they come back from school and they, they've left one or two in their box full of, full of breadcrumbs and you kind of pick it out and, and, and eat it. That, that's the best way to describe this beer because the breadiness, the maltiness in the beer as well comes over greatly. Um, I think I've just stepped into one of the weirdest beer descriptions or beer tastes ever on YouTube, maybe. Um, okay, let's carry on. Dried apricots wrapped in breadcrumbs. Who'd have thought? For 8.5% ABV, this beer has no level of an alcoholic kick 
at all. It's very, very striking and absolutely remarkable. You, this is this is danger beer. This is this is a beer that you go and sit in a Belgian cafe after, in the, if you're there in the middle of summer. But well, it's very it's very humid in Belgium in the summer, and you kind of just chill out at a, at a cafe bar like I've done before. You have a couple of beers, and then you go to get up, and it's like boom! This is just incredible, incredible. Obviously, because of the ABVs of the beer, they, they're kind of quite high. And you hear these stories all the time of tourists going in Belgium cafes and, and, and falling out the door on their way out. But I, I'm so pleased. What I'd like to do now is, is probably grab hold of a fresh bottle of this and try it fresh. They're a fresh bottle of this style of beer would be, you'd pick up lots of apple flavours, lots of ripe apple, ripe lemon, bitterness, and then you'd have a little kick of alcohol as well. But for me, through the benefit of ageing this beer, I think it's kind of gone to the next level. It's It's gone to, all of the flavours have kind of mixed in together and interwelded and balance themselves out really and the alcohol as I mentioned earlier the alcohol content you just can't taste it you don't get any alcohol warming in the pit of the stomach um, it's just good it's just really really good and a beer that I will visit and visit and visit I can't believe it's taken me six and a half years to review this beer on YouTube isn't it strange let's give it a rating cheers so delirium nocturnum You know what there's still some apple in there right <laughs> been looking for that flavor all, all review and i kind of reminded myself yeah but there is a little touch of apple in it as well it's a beautiful beautiful beer please go out and try it i'm gonna give this beer a massive nine out of ten it's a nine out of ten from reload craft beer put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews cheers